Welcome back to True Crime News. Let's jump right into the news. A while back we covered the awful murder of Karina Saunders. We will place a card here in this video so you can see the previous information and links to articles. The case of Karina Saunders is a cold case, but investigators have now turned to Facebook in the hope to crack the case and find the killers of Karina. In October it was announced that there is a reward of $10,000 to the person that can lead police to the alleged video that is said to have been made of Karina's torture, killing and gruesome dismemberment. Investigators have sought access to different Facebook accounts of people they believe to be of interest in the investigation. Kenny Richards made a new video of Saunders with the intent to pimp her out for sex just before she vanished. Another person of interest is Kyle Savage, who informed police he knew Karina for about two years before she disappeared. Police discovered that days before Karina's body was found, Kyle Savage has texted a family member of hers. The text said, I'm going to bury you next to Karina. Savage has admitted to sending the text. A woman of interest in the case is Judy Roberts, who lived with Karina during the weeks between when she was reported missing and when her body was found. None of the three have been charged in the death and disappearance of Karina. In a previous video, we have covered the case about the German Rose and Fred West. We will place a card here in this video so you can watch it and find links to interesting articles on the case. This case is gruesome, even for long-serving criminologists and psychiatrists. The killer couple lured women into their house where they humiliated and tortured them. The couple has killed at least two women. The police are yet unable to confirm the number of women who narrowly escaped being tortured by the couple after they were lured to the house by Lonely Hearts advertisement. The 40 person strong special commission named Bussy Bourne is still narrowly searching for women who have not yet come forward out of shame. German police discover more house of horror victims. It is believed there could be as many as 30. The window blinds on the lower floor of the German couple's house were always closed. The lights were always on even when it was sunny outside. The main thing the couple wanted was to avoid being seen. Six years ago, the first victim in the Long Island serial killer case was found lifeless. The victim were buried at New York Gilgo Beach. Since then, our authorities has undercovered at least 19 other bodies. Shannon Gilbert of Ellenville, New York, was a talented student who graduated high school at the young age of 16. She was described as cheerful and motivated. She had big dreams of moving to New York City to become a singer. But in 2007, she relocated to Jersey City. The move was difficult, as Shannon was struggling with money due to a minimum wage job. So she took on work with an escort agency to help herself financially. It worried her family, but it seemed to go well for her. But police figured out about the escort operation, and Shannon's new line of business ended quickly. Determined to make ends meet, Shannon began booking her own appointments via Craigslist. This turns out to be fatal, as she ran away from a client's home near the beach and vanished. In 2010, authorities uncovered skeleton remains on Long Island Gilgo Beach while searching for Shannon. The remains were wrapped up in a burlap bag, but the remains found were someone else. Within a few days, police found three more bodies, all females, and wrapped in burlap. The victims, Maureen Brainard, Barnes, Megan Waterman, Amber Lynn Costello, and Melissa Bart Elemy were all known sex workers who used Craigslist for their advertisement. First police thought Shannon's disappearance was an isolated incident. Then they realized that the victims most likely met their fate by one person, 
and that a serial killer was on the loose. Some investigators theorized that there might be more than one killer involved in the Long Island murders. The big question is, is only one person responsible for all the dead bodies and what connects them all? As many of the victims disappeared in the summer, it is speculated if the killer could be a teacher or maybe a fisherman. Serial killer expert and criminal profiler John Kelly has explained that the perpetrator is a seasonal hunter. The question is, where is he the rest of the year? Mary Ellen O'Toole, a retired FBI agent and profiler, says the killer is a puppeteer who knows in the end what he is going to do. He is involved in predatory behavior and he is enjoying the hunt, O'Toole says. We are talking about a whole different breed of person, she says. He has verbal skills to be able to communicate in a way that makes people believe he is not threatening. For more information, look in the description and find relevant links to articles. If you don't want to miss out on any crime news, follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and of course subscribe to our channel.